Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. So today Aries, for your meditative session, you guys got the three of wands. What's interesting about this story is that it's about like this girl who will do anything to basically get her prince back and she has to like cut off her pinky she has to like create a ladder she has to do all the shit to get to where she needs to go but she like perseveres and at the end she does get him but it's a lot of work it's a lot of effort it's a lot of time and <laughs> i i kind of really like the energy because i feel like it you know it's someone who's like willing to put in the work right but at like what cost that's what i'm getting and i'm also getting the song running up the hill and in the song he keeps saying like if i could make a deal with god uh so i feel like someone here is trying to bargain it's like oh like if i do this then please like get me this right and if i can do this better then can i have that do you know what i'm saying it's like someone kind of making a, a, a deal and that's what i keep getting like this girl she makes a lot of deals with I think there's like a witch that takes her prince away or something she has to make a deal with them and they're like okay like cut off your your finger and like you know what i mean like there's a lot of bargaining there's a lot of deals so i think it could actually be really hectic for you right now aries or whoever uh this person is that i'm talking about because it seems like somebody has to make deals now it seems like somebody like they're they're gonna do whatever it takes basically to get to whatever it is that they're trying to accomplish and like what it feels like is love right because in this in this story she's trying to find her prince right and she'll sacrifice anything and it's like even here like i'll i'll make a deal with god like to get this i'll do that right so it feels like a lot of bargaining it feels like a lot of deals it feels like a lot of work basically to get to this point and i'm not saying it's not worth it i'm just like i'm curious like where it is that you guys are going i mean i feel like it is for love that you do all this but yeah it's very interesting aries but it's all but it's also very beautiful so let's pull some more cards aries So Aries, it really feels like everything, every time I kept shuffling, I kept hearing, I'm going to make a deal with God. I'm going to make a deal with God. I'm going to make a deal with God. So it feels like someone is a little desperate and I can understand why I can see like a lot of endings. And then how do I explain this? It's like someone has unfinished business with someone and someone has kind of like they have somewhere that they need to be, right? It's like when the in the three of wands when the girl was climbing up the ladder right she had somewhere that she needed to be and that's where she was like headed off to and it didn't matter like what she had to sacrifice if it was like her own flesh her own blood but she she was gonna go get her prince and that's kind of what i'm seeing and i feel like this is like actually going to heal this person right because at the end we have healing so i think that it's actually something that you know when the divine orchestrates something it's never <laughs> it's never like a straight line you know and that's and that's what i'm getting with this person because it's like this person has kind of had to come out of the dark it feels like they're coming out of the dark it kind of feels like they're you know they're exhausted from this journey and it's like okay now i see everything clearly but now everything kind of seems to be out of my grasp right like i just came from back there and what i want is back here and you know what i mean like i'm thinking about the past i'm thinking about like what i should be doing right now this person seems like very like frantic and like you know what i mean i keep getting this frantic like desperate energy like okay i'll make a deal uh if that's what i have to do like i'll do whatever it takes uh i there's this word that we use i, I don't know what it's called 
I don't, I don't know what it is in my language in English and any language uh, but it's like you when you really need something to happen you make like a deal basically and you say it's like I like I know that they do it in my country I just don't remember like what it's called but it's like if you really need something to happen like you're like oh I'll do this for like you know 12 months I'll like pray a Hail Mary every single day if you can like you know help my I don't know like my nephew uh with whatever it is that they need help with do you know what I'm saying and it could be that's that's like I forget the word but that's what it seems like this person is doing it's like I'll make a deal I'll put a bargain up like I can do I need to do this and I feel like they're clear now on what the Ten of Cups is for them. They're clear as like where they need to be, but it kind of feels like we're going backwards now, to be honest, because we have every single Ten out here. <laughs> every single Ten out here. So it's like the ending has come and they're like, wait, they're, it's, like, it's like someone's not happy with the ending. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, wait, I'm at the ending now and like this is where I'm at. Like, oh shit, you know what I mean? Like, oh no, like I need to go backwards. And that's what kind of I'm getting with this uh, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I don't necessarily see it as a bad thing. I just feel like we're working backwards now. It's like, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I got to all these tens. I got to all the finalities. I got to all these conclusions and I'm not where I'm supposed to be. And I realize that now. Let's well, like, I need to make a plan to fix this. And that's what this seems like. It's like someone's like frantically trying to fix a situation. And yeah, I think that they're realizing now, how, like how could I have gone to the 10? Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, how did I get here? Cause like you can't really get to the 10 if you don't do like inner work, right? And I feel like that's where this person was lacking, right? This inner work that they had to do, like this introspection. I feel like they blamed a lot of people for their problems. They blamed a lot of people for like the events that happened in their life. And they didn't really take a lot of responsibility for like what it was that they actually did. Do you know what I'm saying? This could be you Aries or this could be somebody else, uh, someone you're connected to. I'm not sure like if it's the feminine or the masculine I'm talking about, but it just feels like someone is like at the 10, right? We have the 10 of swords, the 10 of cups, the 10 of wands, right? and the ten of wands again so we have four tens out here and i feel like it's just very significant that this person has like finally reached the end of a journey and they feel like they are like not where they want to be right it's like it's like it's interesting how it's like we're at the journey and then we see the ten of cups but it's like it's not like this person is at the ten of cups do you know what i'm saying it's like this is what it's like it's like I have just m completed the journey and at the end I was expecting to get this but now I'm realizing that I'm not there I'm like here <laughs> right it's like this king of earth I could be talking about a masculine this king of earth realizes like I'm not I'm still here I'm still in this ten of swords like what the hell just happened here like I come out the journey and I'm supposed to you know what I mean it's like when you finish a long journey or you finish a maze it's reminding me of like is it Oedipus uh I don't know that like journey that that we had to read in like high school and they were always like oh the journey the journey oh i can't remember it doesn't really matter but yeah it's like you you're expecting to get somewhere at the end of the journey right and make some sort of completion and this person like sees where they're at and they're supposed to be here at the ten of cups but they're here <laughs> at the ten of swords and it's like wait what the fuck just happened do you know what i'm saying and it's like okay wait i have to backtrack i have to see what happened here because i'm supposed to be here and i'm in hell you know what I mean? I'm supposed to be like at my ten of cups, at my fulfillment, and I'm here. So it kind of seems like a person kind of went off track because there was no introspection done. There was no judgment done on themselves. And it's interesting because we have the judgment card here too. So it seems like someone didn't do the healing. Someone didn't like reflect on themselves. Someone took like blamed others for a lot of the things that happened in their life. And it's like, okay, you want to, you can go that route. But when you go that route you end up somewhere different and that's where this person has ended up right like they have not you know you could end up with a lot of people that are telling you yes but they should be telling you no or a lot of people in your life that you know you're surrounded by that seem to be like you know great and then you take a real look at them and they're not so that's kind of what this vibe is it's like this person's taking a look around and it's like they peek their head out of the hole finally. Uh, I'm thinking of like a rabbit that comes out of the hole and they think that they're like supposed to like, you know, it's like Bugs Bunny when he takes that map and he's like, I'm supposed to be here. And then like he's not and it's like supposed to be really funny. But like in this case, it's not funny. So this person is bargaining. Like I feel like with God and the divine, he's like, yeah, like I need to be somewhere else. But they're I feel like they're telling this person that they led themselves here. 
Like, there's no one to blame but themselves. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you, they, they led themselves here. Like, they could have had an open heart and an open mind and continued on the path in this energy, but I felt like they were, like, they were, like, an ego, right? And they were very, like, upset about maybe a situation. And instead of, like, going in the path of where their heart was leading them towards, they ended up going towards the path of the ego. And what's interesting is like, if you follow the path of the ego, of course, you're just going to end up in some more fuckery, right? You're not going to end up in like the 10 of cups if your heart is not open. So it's like, they're basically telling it straight up. Like if you would have opened your heart up and done what you were supposed to do and didn't work, then you would have ended up as your 10 of cups. But you're you're questioning us when you should be questioning yourself. You know what I mean? And now, now this person's not confused anymore. <laughs> they're not and they want to go towards an empress that's what it seems like but it's interesting because they know that the empress is the sun but they know that this is already a cycle that's ended so again it's a bargain it's a deal it's like what do i have to do to fix the situation and i feel like the divine is telling them you have to take a look at yourself <laughs> you have to heal you have to heal you have to declutter you have to be open to like what we're telling you, what your intuition is telling you, you know what I mean? You can't just fast forward through every lesson. You have to take a look at yourself. Like this is something no one has, there's no one to blame, but like this person, unfortunately, and it's sad, but it's like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I feel like it's interesting. This reading is very interesting because it's like this person's working backwards now. It's like, oh yeah, like I got to the 10, but it was not the 10 of cups. It was the 10 of swords. So now I fucked up and I have to go some, I have to fix the situation. And they're telling this person the only way to fix it is to heal. And like, that's the last card here to like, they're judging themselves. They're healing, right? They know where their wish fulfillment is. They're very, very sure. They're very, very sure where their wish fulfillment is. They're very, very sure of their four of wands. Look how sure they are. Like they are a hundred percent sure. There's no question about it. And whatever, whatever they went, they need to go do. They're gonna go do it. Like with the judgment, the heaven and earth. They're like, no, 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 no. Don't, don't even play me. Like I'm going to my heaven and earth. Like stop the phone. Like stop the cycles. You know, like stop the record or whatever people say. Like stop right now. Like uh. -uh. I'm going to go do that right now. So it's actually interesting because I feel like this person's actually going to be very proactive now and do some of the healing that they need to do. And they're not confused anymore. Like they know how they got here. And I think they know exactly where they need to be because it's like with this, it's like they, they know they missed a step. Do you know what I'm saying? They know they missed something. They missed something in the cycle. They need to go towards the sun. The sun is the empress. And it's like they know who that empress is. They're going to go. They're very clear on it. The interesting part is like they know that that's their wish fulfillment. And now it's their time to be judged. Right? And I think this judgment that the divine... You know what's it's interesting? It's like, it's like they've been hiding from the divine this entire time. And now they realize that like they're here at this ten of swords. And they're like, yo how am i gonna how am i gonna get to my ten of cups it's like i have to have this conversation with like the divine like they, they're like they seem to be a person who doesn't even really believe to be honest in the divine but now that they have really fucked up it seems that they're like okay i'll have this conversation with them i'll do a bargain i'll do a deal and it's really interesting because that's what I feel like with this judgment card. It's like, okay, let me have a, let me have a conversation with them. Like, fine, I'll do it. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, fine, I will do it for this person. <laughs> for this person who I like ended a cycle with, I will go. I will go talk to like the divine. Like, I will go talk to God. I will talk to whoever it is that I need to talk to because I need to get like I can't like I need to go backwards. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they need to help me out. And I feel like this person is ready to like finally be judged. Like, oh, like if you come and talk to me, you know, like I'm gonna, it's funny because I don't feel like God is gonna judge this person at all. I think it would actually just be a very healing conversation. So it's interesting because it's like, it's like this, this realization is bringing this person closer to the divine. But it's funny because I feel like this person is scared of the divine. I feel like they're scared of being judged. I feel like they're scared of like all the things they've done and the faults that they have. And they're just like not ready to have that conversation with the divine. And like even with their higher self, they're not ready to have that conversation. Do you know what I'm saying? They're so scared. But it's like for this person to go back in time, I'll have that conversation if I have to have it, right? And what, what's beautiful about this is that this conversation that they have with their higher self, with the divine, with, you know, the universe, like, okay, come and judge me. Like, I'm ready to be judged now. It leads to them being healed. 
like I don't think it's like when people go on the other side right those people that had those near-death experiences or where they were you know they died for like three minutes they were like they they get expect they expect God to like judge them so harshly they expect to be you know they expect a lot of things that are like harsh and what's interesting is that it's usually just like a loving or light energy that they feel they never really feel what they're afraid of right and i feel like that's exactly what's going to happen to this person like they're very scared of being judged they're very scared to have this conversation with the divine but what's really interesting is that that is what's going to heal them this conversation that they decide to have this bargaining that they tried to do for someone else i think it's kind of like bedazzled you know um that movie where he's like he makes the ultimate sacrifice for Allison. He's like, you know, I just want her to be happy. And then that ends the whole cycle because he's like self-sacrificing. It's kind of the same thing for this person. It's like, I'll do anything that I, I can do for this person. And with that, like going to kind of talk <laughs> and going to like meet their maker, you know, get judged. That's something that they've been avoiding for a really long time. I think that actually like brings this person to some sort of clarity and it also heals them because they're finally clear and not only that but they're having a conversation and they're having this like experience that they were supposed to have a long time ago that they had just been avoiding but it's interesting they have so much love for someone else that they're willing to do it right and it's just a beautiful read now like oh my god so Aries, I think I'm going to leave it there because I think that this is like the end card healing. I think this person is going to have this conversation with their higher self, with them. There's somebody, whoever it is, themselves, the divine. I think it's a combination of all of them, to be honest. But it's like, I'm finally ready to have this conversation. And with it, that conversation and all these realizations of like where I was meant to be, what I'm supposed to be doing, do you know what I'm saying? Like hiding for a really long time. I don't know where just hiding right from themselves basically it's like they've been hiding from themselves and now they can't hide anymore right and it's like they they finally peek up from the journey and they realize that they're not where they're meant to be and it's just it's just sort of beautiful reading because it's like this this is just going to bring healing to this person and with that comes so much progress again those deals that they want to make the bargaining that they want to do it's like they don't even have to do all that they really don't and they'll realize that once they have this conversation and once they heal but right now i think that's what they think is like the only way to get to where they need to be and that's not necessarily the case the case is just it's actually a lot more simple than they think it is but they don't realize that yet but once they heal they're going to realize that see like how clear they become at the end of this <laughs> like the, everything is just pinpointed right all their energy can go towards what they actually want whereas before it just felt like they were all over the place right and like there's this desperation so yeah aries i really love this reading i love you guys so much i hope this reading resonates and i'll see you guys next time bye